Hi all, welcome back to another video. Today we will see how to schedule online appointments with Odoo 16 calendar module. For that, let's open the calendar module. Inside the calendar module, we have three menus and out of these three menus, let's choose the online appointments menu. Now once you open it, you can see the Kanban view of all the appointments which are created till date. Okay. Now here you can see the name of the appointment that is the appointment title. You can see the duration. Okay. The user corresponding to that uh, appointment. You can see the scheduled meetings, the total meetings, the preview and share. Here you can see the published. It's that ribbon is displayed there because this is published in website. Now if you want to share any of these appointments, just click on the share button here. You have the link you can just copy link and close and share it to whomever you want and if you want the preview just click on the preview here you can see it in website now we'll go to that before that let's create an online appointment so i'm clicking on create here now this is the creation form first thing they ask is for an appointment title now let's give as functional demo Okay, now here you can see the section duration, scheduling, allow cancelling and all. Now, if you don't give anything, by default, certain time limit is set there. Now, if you want, you can change it. If you don't change it, then it will be taken as such. Now, here you can see the duration by default is one hour. So, if you want, you can change it. And scheduling, at least it should be scheduled at least one hour before the uh, appointment and also not after 15 days or something. Now here also you can change it now when which all time you can al uh, allow the cancelling so it, it's allowed until one hour before the uh, you know appointment now here you can choose the user and also you have the front end display you have an option to show the picture of the user as well as not to show the picture so you can choose from any i'll go with show users picture and here you have the availability so you can specify which all day this appointment is available. So by default, certain days of the week are given here. And if you want to add a day, just click on add and choose the day of the week. I'm choosing Saturday and from which time to which time that is also specified. here. If you don't give anything, a, 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 any random time will be given there. And if you want, you can just delete also any of these. So time is also given here. Next you have the options. Under the options you have time zone. So which time zone are, are you guys following? That time zone can be chosen from here. Now here we have the location. That is if it's an online demo or online appointment, then no need to specify any location or not, right? You can see it, keep it empty if the meeting takes place online. But if it's offline, you have to specify what the location. Okay, that can be chosen from here. Now here you have the limit work hours. So if you check it, the work hours will be limited. Or if you not check it, then it won't be. Next, we have the create opportunities. If you want to create an opportunity out of this, then just check it out. I'm not checking it right now. And also there's an option to set reminders. So reminders can be of any form. It can be email or notification or even send text messages and when should you be notified also can be given here before three hours or one hours or 15 minutes and all and while sending an email if you want to you know specify anyone as cc you can choose that person from here so the mail will be sent to him also okay and next we have questions so if you have any questions regarding the you know appointment and all that is while appointment we are filling the appointment you can put this question also and I'm giving us what are your or simply I'll give what is your company name 
okay so here uh, any placeholders also can be given and if this is a required answer just check it if not leave it okay so here we have the question type what kind of uh, input you want that is single line text multi line text drop down fade your check box and all so i've chosen single line text i'm saving it and closing it similarly you can add much questions here and next we have the messages under messages you can choose or you can set an introduction message as well as the message on confirmation okay so introduction message i'll give this is an appointment on okay so i've given an introduction message now similarly you can give a, a confirmation message so i'll give thank you okay so an introduction message and also a confirmation i mean uh, yeah message on confirmation is also given here now here you have two smart tabs which show zero appointment and one is go to website so after coming after appointing or after an appointment is done here this zero will change to one right let's see go to the website now inside website you can see this is unpublished i'm going to publish it only then people can view this in the website and schedule the appointments okay so here you can see schedule functional demo appointment with michelle hetman and here you can see the message which we given this is an appointment on odo functional okay the welcome message or the starting message which we set right now now here you have the available dates choose the date okay and specify the time also here you can see we gave with picture right front end display with picture so his picture has come and you can change the name give the name to Nick. okay mail phone number and all can be given and here's the question which we specified that is what is your company's name it's not a required question okay answer is not required but still i'll give the name as mix company okay then if you want you can add custom uh, questions so i'm confirming the appointment okay so here you can see thank you like your appointment has been successfully booked now here you can see the message which we gave like the message while uh, like in, at the end this message will be shown so that is thank you for cooperating this is the message which we have given there you can see his picture and all and you also have the option to add to google agenda and also add to icon or outlook now by clicking on this button you can cancel or reschedule it okay let's go back to edit mode so this is simply how you create an appointment or schedule an appointment in odoo let's go back now if you look here you can see one appointments right so here also you have the preview share and unpublish option so if you just click on preview you can see the same window which we have seen right now okay let's go back opening the calendar module now if you look the canvan view you can see where functional demo one meeting scheduled okay so this is how you schedule a meeting or schedule an online appointment with the help of odoo 60 i hope it was helpful thank you for watching